Here we have another African uh, pepper from Ghana. This is the Mako Koku, and these were sent to me by Joe Delaney. Thanks, Joe. Um, and Joe's grown these from seed collected uh, in Ghana. It's an interesting capsicum chinense variety. Um, seems a little heterogeneous in shape. And we have bean ones, we have curly, lumpy ones, we have mini scorpiony ones. Uh, like this one, mini scorpion, mini marugas, I suppose. <laughs> um, but this seems to be the most, the most common shape in the ones that Joe sent me. Um, very folded, a little bent over, lots of little ridges. Pretty cool shape. Another one. So let's uh, let's dig into that one. I think. Whoops. Okay, made a mess of that. A beautiful pepper. Beautiful colour. This one has a slightly different smell. There is a little chinense undercurrent. But um, it is fruity. Um, I'd say there's a little bit, a little bit of vanilla in there, and it's just very, very fresh smelling. Very nice smell. That should be good. So this one is the Mako Koku from Ghana. Thanks to Joe. Hi, Nigel Carter back again, um, after a bit of an absence. I can't breathe very well, so I'm hoping I can taste these properly. But um, <coughs> this one is the Mako Koku from Ghana. And it's a capsicum chinense variety. And um, it's collected in Ghana uh, by Joe Delaney, or by a friend of Joe's anyway. And grown in Minnesota by Joe. So, thanks very much, Joe. So, Mako Koku. Cheers. Mmm. Very sweet. Very nutty. Very nutty flavour. A little bit like raw almonds mixed with raw walnuts. But no bitterness. Very sweet. And there's an underlying chinense flavour, but it's not much. That's a really nice pepper. The heat is probably <clears throat> around about KN heat, not more than that. But it's one of the sweetest um, capsicum chinenses I've had in a while. That's a really great flavour. I think I need to have another one of those to make sure. Mmm. That's just lovely. That one has a little bit more chinancy flavour than the first one. But there's still that nutty, rich flavour that you get from, from raw nuts. Mmm. Yeah, that one's a little bit hotter. That one's probably slightly more than KN hot. So, hmm, those are great. Mm, I really like those. Yeah, the sweetness fades. The sweets, there's the sugars in the flesh, not the skins. And you just continue to get this really delicious flavour. It's very rich. Um, without not about not much acidity, <coughs> but a lot of sweetness, and and the rich flavour 
that's kind of nutty balances out the sweetness really nicely. Yeah, a little bit past cayenne hot, as I said. It's nice. Um, the heat's all tongue then. Um, mainly the front of my tongue, actually. There's small peppers, so you chew them up at the front. But, um, yeah, I don't detect heat anywhere else. Just nice, a nice overall warmth, typical chinense kind of burn, very mellow. Yeah, I can see those being absolutely brilliant in all sorts of cooking, just because they have such a nice spectrum of flavours. And a little bit of heat, but nothing stupid. Very, very good. I like those a great deal. Hmm. So that was the Mako Koku from Ghana via Joe Delaney. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. I appreciate that very much. But what a what a treat to get to try some uh, African peppers that very few people have even heard of, including me. <laughs> Thanks very much. So this is Nigel Carter saying thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.